there are many challenges regarding automation today, but designing and building systems requiring components from different vendors is one of the more difficult ones to overcome. Many companies are turning towards automation for the first time, and often they don't have the experience needed to efficiently combine components from different vendors. At Mitsubishi, we partner with industry-leading suppliers of items such as machine vision, safety, and grippers through our eFactory Alliance program, and in many cases, we have existing interfaces or sample codes to make integration of those components faster and easier. We are constantly adding members to our eFactory Alliance to give customers multiple options and to allow them to confidently choose the products that best fit the performance requirements that they have. And the results have been fantastic. Even for first-time customers now, they have the confidence to know that the components they select will work together before they receive them. Our code samples reduce the amount of time that it takes to put together their work cells. For them, they see lower risk and faster implementation. What we have here is a, a straightforward conveyor tracking application uh, that we've shown in a number of shows, but what you may not notice out front is there have been a lot of changes since we introduced this about a year ago. The one constant is the sick vision sensor that is feeding the coordinates of, in this case, the Altoid tin to the encoder. And what we're doing is we're tying the center of the tin to the encoder pulse so we can do conveyor tracking. But what's different on this, it starts with the robot. The robot may look the same, but we upgraded it to our newly released RH3 CRH 4-axis scare robot. And the main difference between it and its predecessor is the controller. And while a controller update may not seem like it's that big of a deal, in this case it really is. Because with the current controller, we're able to add the Safe Plus card for advanced safety applications, and we're also able to add the Smart Plus card when you need that. But in this case, we're, we're utilizing one of the features of the Safe Plus card, which is zone safety. So you can see the sick laser scanner in front, and just because it's a trade show, we have this panel still in, but in reality, you wouldn't need it. When I'm clear of the zone, it's running at full speed. But as I approach it, you can see the robot slows down because now that I'm closer to the robot, it's not allowed to move at the same speed. In a real application, when I get too close to it, it would stop so there's no chance of collision, but obviously at a trade show, we certainly don't need that. With all of our robots, we can program them through RT Visual Box, which is a vision-based programming drag and drop uh, environment, or with Melpha Basic, which is our standard programming environment. And all of our robots, especially the assembly ones, come with a three-year on-site warranty at no charge that can be upgraded to a five-year on-site warranty with preventive maintenance done every year. And one thing that I forgot to mention early on is that we're working with one of our eFactory Alliance partners, SICK, for again, the vision sensor, the trigger, and the safety scanner. And that's one of the benefits that we bring to the industry because with our eFactory Alliance partners, we have a lot of products that we already know are gonna work very well together with our equipment. And in some cases, I may have mentioned, we do have code snippets to allow that integration to happen much faster and easier and with a lot of confidence. This is one of our smaller robots and for an application of this magnitude where you have a short conveyor and small parts, you're really able to design a much more compact space saving cell. And even with this safety, you're now able to have uh, a little bit more compact work cell versus safeguarding that has to go out further. And as your applications change or you need more reach or more payload, we certainly have larger versions of this arm and our six-axis robots that we could deploy.